Reaction from Minnesotans is mixed. WCCL's Marielle Mose spoke with people shopping and dining around Anoka today to get their thoughts on the new statewide mandate. Main Street in Anoka sees a lot of foot traffic because of all the businesses along this stretch. And it's pretty split on who's walking around here wearing a mask. I really think in the long run it's probably going to save lives. I personally don't like to have to wear one. I don't want to have to wear one. This enforcement. Wednesday afternoon, Governor Tim Walz signed an executive order requiring all Minnesotans to wear a mask inside businesses and indoor public spaces, a practice many businesses are already enforcing. Kay McDonald works at a gift shop on Main Street. Nobody likes it, but they all respected the store policy. A majority of the stores on Main Street already require masks to enter, like the White Owl here. This store will even deny service to people who walk in without a mask if there's already other shoppers in the store. I don't like it, but I will do what I have to to keep my small business running. Markel Pagel and Jennifer Cook are small business owners themselves. They believe people living and working in small towns should not be required to wear a mask inside. I live in Isani, where it's very spread out. Yeah. I feel safe in my own little small town. Ben Lathrop agrees that face covering should only be enforced in Minneapolis and St. Paul. I don't think it's necessary, especially for people who go up north a lot. Like, there's not a whole lot of population volume. In Anoka, Mary Elmo's WCCO 4 News. There are consequences if someone willfully violates the order. Individuals can be fined up to $100, businesses could be fined up to $1,000.